In this video, we will see some application matrices and the application is we're going to use matrices to solve the system of linear equation with three variable. Let's say we have three linear equation with three unknown or variable x1, x2 and x3 or some might use x y or z right so we can use any other variable if we have three linear equation with three variables so each equation might have these three unknown x1 x2 and x3 here and also a coefficient for each variable a11 a12 a13 and so on so what we want to do is we want to solve this equation that's mean we want to find the value of x1 the value of x2 and the value for x3 that satisfy this three equation so to do that first actually we can we can rewrite this equation or we can form this linear equation to be written as a single matrix equation like this as you can see the coefficient is in the first matrix a11 a12 13 and so on and the variable or the unknown is here and the constant at the right hand side is here so that means we can change from the linear equation to the matrix equation so we call it we call this a matrix equation and let's say we let uh, the first matrix here let's say we let the first matrix here as a matrix a and matrix here as b and matrix here as c so the equation here is equivalent to the equation that we form the matrix that we form we can rewrite as a matrix equation ax equals to b all right so from the matrix equation ax equals to b and what we want to find is we want to find the solution for x the matrix x because we want to find the value for the unknown x1 x2 and x3 okay there are two methods to solve this linear equation the first one is we can use the inverse matrix and the second one we can use gauss jordan elimination method all right so first we will look at how to solve the linear equation using the inverse matrix first all right so if we have a linear equation and then we form it to the matrix equation so we can find x by using this formula which is x is equals to a inverse times b that's mean we need to find a inverse because we have a here so we need to find the inverse of a when we have the inverse of a we multiply with matrix b and remember the a inverse must be multiplied at the left hand side of matrix b uh, it cannot be multiplied at the right hand side must be at the left hand side so remember the order is very important all right so how do we know this is the solution all right so the proof is when we have a matrix matrix equation a x equals to b all right so what we want to find is we want to find x or we want we want the solution for x for matrix x let's mean we have to eliminate the matrix a here so how we remove a here all right one of the way is we can we can multiply both sides by a inverse and we're going to multiply the a inverse at the at the left hand side so from a x equals to b since a is at the left hand side of x so we need to multiply a inverse at the left hand side so b also need to multiply at the left hand side so what happen when we multiply this so this thing will become i so a inverse times a will become an identity i x equals to a inverse times b an identity times any matrix is just that matrix itself so we get a inverse times 
B. So that's how we can use this formula to solve the linear equation. So remember to use this formula. That means if you want to use this formula, we need to find the A inverse or inverse of A. Alright, so how to find inverse of A? We can use adjoint method to find the inverse of A. So after we get the inverse of A, we multiply it with matrix B. And then the answer will be the solution for the matrix X.